Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Very loud, right? Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Salam. And you would respond, Wa alaikum assalam. May peace be upon you. And thank you, Mary, for having me here. And thank you, Henry, for organizing this. And thank you all for being here. I'm going to tell you a couple of things about myself and Islam and how Islam is pluralistic and how Islam is deeply connected and rooted with the Christian faith. I am a faculty member at a Catholic college, Manhattan College. I teach Islam, world religions, religion and the Holocaust, religion and genocide. I'm also, as a Muslim woman, the director of the Holocaust, Genocide, and Interfaith Education Center. So my story, via my position, tells it all. A Muslim woman heading a Holocaust center at a Catholic school. So if you look at my work, or if you look at the very action that Tom was talking about in terms of Jesus and God. The very act of being for me is about pluralism. The, 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 the air I breathe, the places I live, have lived, have been about pluralism. As a Muslim woman, I have never, ever felt homogeneous. I've always felt other with others and diverse with others. So that's the first thing about me that I want to share. The second thing I want to share is how do you get involved with pluralism? It's not just an intellectual activity, but what can you do as students? What can you do in your future? In Parkchester, Bronx, there is a mosque which is inside of a parking lot. It is called Al Iman Mosque. The sheikh, or as we refer to the imam, is from Zambia. He's married to a wonderful woman, Sharina, who is from Guyana. They're both Muslim. They used to work on Wall Street. And they decided several years ago, when they had three children, that they wanted to open up an Islamic school. So they left their high power jobs and decided to do that in Parkchester, Bronx. Three years ago, there was a Chabad community, which is a Jewish Orthodox community in the Bronx, that needed a space because they could not pay for their rent, for their synagogue and their services. So the Muslim couple, the Imam, said to the rabbi, why don't you just take a room inside of my mosque? And they did. So there is a synagogue inside of the mosque in Parkchester. Not only that, but my students, students like you, go there twice a year and refurbish the place with the other Jews and Muslims. So what's going on here? What we're doing here is working on building a project that in itself has a very beautiful aura of not just being interfaith, but pluralistic. There are kids there that are your age, some older, some even younger. And it becomes an intergenerational, pluralistic project. That's a concrete example of what we can do for one another. And as a Muslim, the Quran states very much similar to the Christian faith, all the charitable acts. And I'm gonna read you uh, a passage. These are the most important things in terms of what a Muslim is required to do. To believe in Allah, which is just a name for God in Arabic, and the last day, and the angels, and the book, and the messengers, to spend your substance out of love for him, for your kin, for orphans, for the needy, for the wayfarer, for those who ask, and for the ransom of slaves, 
to be steadfast in prayer and practice regular charity, to fulfill the contracts which ye have made, and to be firm and patient in pain or suffering and adversity. And throughout all periods of panic, such are the people of truth, the Allah fearing. All of these commandments that Muslims believe in come from Judaism and Christianity. In the Quran, it says that God gave messages before Prophet Muhammad came with the message of the Quran. In order to be a Muslim, you must recognize Abraham, Moses, and Jesus, and the last Prophet Muhammad. There is no Islam without Judaism and Christianity. It cannot exist by itself. There is a lineage that Muslims believe in. And there shall not, as the Quran say, coercion in religion. The Quran states, and I'm going to give you a little more of this, let there be no compulsion in religion, thereby suggesting that acceptance of the Quran's revelations about divinity is a matter of individual choice. Another verse directs Muhammad to say to his detractors, to you be your way and me mine, suggesting that just as others have freedom to follow his. A third example indicates that it is within the purview of divine wisdom that many communities and nations exist. All of this talk about diversity is created by God. This is our challenge. This is our path that God has given us. And it says in the Quran, we created you from a single pair of a male and a female and made you into nations and tribes that ye may know each other, cooperate, engage with one another. Suggesting that a diversity of nations and by implication, a diversity of belief systems is part of the divine organization of humanity. The Quran states that the messengers, like Abraham, Moses, and Jesus, came as emissaries of the same God. You know, in, in growing up as a Muslim, in my tradition, although I, did it, I attended Catholic school for two years in London, and my mother went to Catholic school because we had missionaries where I'm from originally in Pakistan. So this, you know, Christianity is not at all alien or other or foreign to us. But one of the things I was always taught as a young child was to really love Jesus, who we refer to as Isa. Jesus is the most beloved prophet and messenger of God. And the crucifixion story in Islam is different from the Christian, where, yes, in, in both the stories, Jesus is put on the cross, but God loved him so much that he would never let him suffer on the cross, and he's taken away. So that story is told over and over again. Jesus had more miracles. Moses had more miracles than Muhammad. Right? And Jesus was about love, alleviating suffering. All of these messages are in Quran. It's up to us to understand our faith. And when you understand someone else's faith, and my journey with Judaism is very powerful, when I studied Judaism, I became more aware of my own spiritual Islamic faith. Thank you.